what you've seen in the first quarter is more of a divergence um, between value by the Russell 1000 uh, value index and the growth index. In fact, the, the disparity between the two since um, since February is is almost 10 percentage points. So you've really seen a crossover point of growth selling off and, and value doing a little bit better. What does that mean for us? You know, the we, we had some plays on that reopening um, um, theme uh, already in the portfolio, things like Uber that have fared well in the over the last couple of months and, and certainly in the first quarter. Um, but you know, we're taking we're taking the view that some of these growth companies that have come down um, the first quarter presents a buying opportunity. Things that we started in the tail end of last year, like Workday and Atlassian, the, the sell-off gives us a chance to add to those positions and start new positions. Because of course we think longer than just the first quarter and second quarter performance. We're thinking of what are the platforms that we own, wanna own for the next couple of years and does this present an opportunity? You know, the consumer is an area that we've been pretty bullish on. It, it's a combination of just a confluence of events. It, it is the reopening trade, because of course, once we get out of our house, house we're gonna wanna go shopping and to restaurants and things like that. But, but it's also the fact that the consumer is in good shape financially. Balance sheets are pretty un, unlevered um, in general. Uh, the consumer is getting another paycheck, I think as we ske speak in the mail um, or another stimulus check in the, in the mail as we speak. Interest rates are low, they're gonna stay low for a while if you listen to what the Fed is saying. And, um, and, and that low interest rate has really uh, been a catalyst behind a strong housing market that we think has a lot of legs to it. So companies like Advanced Auto Parts, Active, Ulta, Home Depot, those were all good performers and good contributors to performance in the first quarter. In terms of Tractor Supply, which is a new uh, name in the portfolio, the backdrop there is, of course, that healthy consumer environment and the idea that we know that the housing environment's been strong. We know that after housing turnover is quite strong, people tend to invest for the next several years in their home. And of course, rising home prices make people more incented and more inclined to invest in their home. So tractor supply is a benefit of beneficiary of some of those bigger picture trends. The, the other name that's a relatively new one for the portfolio is C Limited. Um, C is a, um, it, their primary business is in Southeast Asia, and um, they have they have a, a very strong video game platform. They're both a distributor and a publisher of video games. But the real appeal to us is that they're they're we think wisely using the cash flows from the video game business and and investing it into an e-commerce business, mostly in Southeast Asia, and a digital payments business, which we think has a long runway. So th those two other businesses are really big addressable markets that. Um, that we think will generate really good profitability over the next couple of years. Mega cap tech actually performed well in the first quarter. So um, some of our underweight in, in those FANG names, um, FANG plus Microsoft, um, were headwinds to relative performance. So Qualcomm is one of the companies in, in our portfolio, and um, they had some volatility in the first quarter because the, the chip shortage that we're seeing globally um, is gonna push out uh, phone deliveries. And then that of course would affect Qualcomm's revenues. We're, we're seeing broad-based um, signs of price increases. I think the $64,000 question is, are, is this ephemeral inflation or is this really durable inflation? Because ephemeral inflation is, is a question of a reopening economy and easy comps. <laughs> and that will, over time, moderate. Um, durable inflation is the kind of inflation that's going to cause the Fed to have to intervene at some point. And I think you know the jury's still out on that. I think you really need to watch the data points to understand which, which is which. Mm -hmm.